When it comes to Apple intelligence or simply put AI, with macOS Sequoia 15.1, Apple recently made some new changes and the requirements are not as complicated as before. And in this video, I'm simply going to be showing you just that. Something that is probably not going to change when it comes to Apple intelligence on macOS, and it's still the same right now, is the fact that you need an Apple Silicon M1 device or newer in order to use it. This that you can see here is a list of all the supported devices and you can see for Macs, this is what you need basically. And this list hasn't changed, but something recently changed. In fact, you might recall from our other video that you needed to change your region and your Siri language to the US, but that is no longer the case. As you can see, I was able to update, but something that did change right here that you can see is the fact that Apple intelligence no longer requires setting the device to US region, but there's still no Apple intelligence for users in EU and china it seems at this point in time although at the time i was doing my research and recording this video i noticed that for some users that are still in the uk they are able to get apple intelligence but some other users weren't able to and at the same time others in europe in certain countries were able to without changing their language and region to the us which is a bit in the air so hopefully apple resolve this issue and at the same time i do hope the eu gets iphone mirroring pretty soon one of the major updates that apple intelligence brings over to mac is the fact that in photos you now have a cleanup feature so for example if you look at a different photo like this right here if you want to move something like for example you want to move the water bottle or you want to remove some of the cars what you can do is go to where it says edit and now with machine learning and apple ai they've added this section that says cleanup and when you click cleanup if you're doing this for the first time keep in mind that this is going to download cleanup itself so it is running on device and I'll test that shortly, but you can see when you press the cleanup icon right there, you can see it gives you suggestions. So it, uh, it's giving me the ability to clean up this tractor right there. And if I just click on it, boom, it disappears and it does a really good job. And if I click on that shade right there, you can see it cleans up pretty well. <laughs> it, it, for some reason just recognize the front wheel of this car but if you want to clean up something and that isn't being suggested you can just highlight it by circling it or what's even better is to just you know go over it like this and cover the whole of it and right there you can see it's cleaned it up pretty well if I want to clean up these cars right here. I can go like this and then I'll just try and highlight them again and give it a moment. You can see it did a pretty decent job, but you can see here there was something that was there and we can select it again and boom, I think this picture looks really good. And this is also available on iOS, by the way, you can try it out. Let's say, for example, I want to clean myself from this picture. So I'll select myself just like this. Now, since a picture, you know, for me to highlight everywhere, it's going to take a lot of time. You can see it uses that AI to be able to detect this. And I think it did a pretty decent job in cleaning me out from this picture. And you can see did leave a bit of a shade but that's okay and right here you can see a little bit of a giveaway that this image was cleaned up and also apple is using tags to be able to let users know that a picture has been cleaned up so that's using cleanup one of the things that i want to show you right here is if we go into our network section and just switch off our wi-fi i'm not connected using ethernet so my connection is off and if we open up another image for example this and go to edit you can see cleanup is available even though we don't have the internet connection our wi-fi is off and you can see this works on device you don't need an internet connection and you can see automatically the suggestions that i can clean up so if i click there for example it's cleaned up those cars really well and i think it's doing a pretty decent job actually and something that you can also do is highlight a subject like i've shown so if you don't want this car in frame um you can just select it just like this 
I'm not doing a good job of selecting it, but what's even better is if you were to highlight it, but let's just select it that way. And then you can see how it's able to identify it and it's cleaned it up. But because there's so many items, so many shades that were touching the car and even me, I was leaning on the car. You can see cleanup didn't do a good job so it's working on device without internet connection and at the same time you can see if i was to go back maybe i would try one of these pictures let's say you know i want to be single <laughs> you know i'm joking but let's say i want to be single if we go to where it says edit right there and then go to cleanup let's see what happens when we try to remove one person in an image where you are laying your arm over just like this so you can select them just like this let's see if it will be able to do a good job i doubt it will but and this is the worst that cleanup will ever be, by the way, because this is the first time that cleanup is coming up on Mac. So I've selected this person and you can see it's identified them and boom, it's cleaned them up pretty well. And at the same time, you can see right here, my lady's leg is showing. So if I want to clean it up, let's just highlight it and see if it will be able to do that. Okay, so it's cleaned it up like this so you can see at the same time half of my arm or actually the rest of my arm is missing so you get the idea of how you can use cleanup it works really well if you are cleaning up like isolated objects but if it's a object that's together with others then it's gonna be hard to be able to clean up and at the same time keep in mind that the suggestions that you get are not only the limitations that you can clean up you can always select other things in images and be able to clean those up as well so that's something that's good that has been added to this update and keep in mind that this is in addition to other apple intelligence features that macOS already has